Hi, welcome to AOTV. I've got Julian with me. We've just beaten Everton 1 0 here at Goodison Park. It's been a long time, but we've finally done it, Julian. 1 0 to the Arsenal. It's Did you been... enjoy it? No. <laughs> no. no I, I... We won, no, Julian. No, 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 we did no, win. No, look, I, I enjoyed the victory. Okay, you, you, you cannot not enjoy the victory. And after how many years? Five, six yeah, seasons we Wembley. last beat beat them in 2017. You've got to enjoy the result. I suppose when you're a football fan, you come to football to see your team win. Yeah, we, and that's what you saw today. Yeah, and on that front, I am happy. Good. However, the other reason you come to football is to be entertained. Now, there's one team that came to entertain, and there's one team that just defended. That's all they wanted to do. They had absolutely zero creativity. They had zero adventure. They did nothing. Absolutely nothing. Now, apparently Ashley Young came out and said, we're disappointed we didn't get a point. What did they do to deserve to get one point? What have they done to deserve to stay in the Premier League? That says it all, though. They're, they're, that's what they, that's what they, that says it all, him saying, you know, a point, not three points. They, they were at their home ground. They're playing for a draw. Yeah, but then players will exaggerate and put a certain spin on it. And the fact that his spin is, we were unfortunate, oh, not, to, unfortunate? Not, not to get a point just outrageous. sums it up. Now, this this club here, they've got a 40,000-seater stadium. They're not a small club. They're not like a, a Bournemouth that's got 10,000, not like a Luton, who you could understand that wants to play like that. They're Liverpool here, that it's a, look, it's a challenging place to live. That's what I would say. But and these are all words of Julian Cohen. Yeah. <laughs> but also, they come here, they want some respite from their weekly lives. And if that's what they've got to, to look forward to, home games, then I understand why they're depressed. Because if I had to watch that every week... Say, this is not going to be every... You, you, you know, you're doing an umbrella quote here. Not every fan, is, I'm sure, is not depressed here. What? So not every fan wants to be entertained? Is that what... They I mean, they want two things. They want to be entertained and they want to see their team win. Mm. Now, Everton fans... Or draw. They might be thinking the same as, as Ashley Young and saying, you know, we could have got a point here. I don't think Everton's fans' expectations are that low that they that they aspire all week to see their team draw at home. And even if they want a point, they aspire to see their team come out and play football. Now, what we've seen today, there's, I mean, they could call it bully boy, bully ball. Bully ball, yeah. You know, all they want to do is bully it. I would call it boring ball because the game was boring. I don't blame Arsenal for that. I blame Everton for that. But also, I blame the referee. Why the referee? Because of the... Because like of, tight. Here we yeah, go. No, no, because of the offside decision. For our goal when it got disallowed. For our goal that, that got disallowed. Now, from what I saw, Eddie was in an offside position. Now, the other thing, it is difficult for me to see from where I was. There was netting and a post in the way. But from what I could see... They are getting a new ground, to be fair to them. Yeah, but maybe the better view here is behind a post and netting. <laughs> But Eddie was in a slightly offside position. Yes, but from what I can see, the ball came off the Everton player. Now, I know the rules of the game are quite complicated. Yeah. But again, what I understand is if it comes off the opposition player and he intended to do that, then the player becomes active. Then the player inside. becomes active yeah. and it's onside. Now, what I saw was the player flicked his leg out. Mm -hmm. He flicked his leg out so he meant to touch it. Therefore, Eddie should be onside. Now, if that, that uh, goal had stood, then Everton would have been forced to come out at a far earlier stage and made more of a game of it. So the game was boring. I blame the referee and the VAR and I blame Everton for not having any adventure whatsoever.